Hello everyone. Today we will discuss one problem that is find the current passing through a ohm resistor. This is a given circuit. In the previous classes, we discussed about some pro some problems that is by taking the clockwise direction for the two loops and by taking the two loops are in the anti-clockwise direction and one is clockwise and one is anti-clockwise direction and this one is this one is anti-clockwise direction and this is clockwise direction. So by taking the different directions, we have seen how we will write the mesh equations and how we will get the answer. Now, see, find the current passing through the eight ohm resistor in this particular circuit. So for the given circuit, I am taking the clockwise direction. We yeah, assume that here in this in the loop one, I one current is flowing in this direction. That is clockwise. In loop two also, I two current is flowing in the clockwise direction. Okay, by using the mesh analysis method, we will write the mesh equations in the loop one. Apply KVL in loop one. If we apply KVL in loop one, we will get pi is equal to 7 into I1 plus 7 into I1 minus I2. Okay, phi is equal to 7 into I1 plus 9 into i1 minus i2 that i am writing here so if we simplify this we will get 7 into i1 plus 9 into i1 minus 9 into i2 is equal to 5 here 7 plus 9 is 16 16 into i1 minus 9 into i2 is equal to 5 this is equation number one now if we apply the mesh analysis in loop 2 that is apply KVL in loop 2, we will get plus 2 minus minus 10 is equal to 8 into I2 plus 9 into I2 minus I1. See here, minus 10 is equal to 8 into I2 plus 9 into I2 minus I1. For 8 ohm resistor, only one current is flowing, that is I2. For But for 9 ohm resistor, there are two currents. I1 and I2 both are in the opposite direction. That's why we are taking the difference. While taking the while writing the loop one equation, we will write I1 minus I2. While writing the loop two equation, we will we will write I2 minus I1. Okay, here yeah. if we split this equation, we will get 8 into I2 plus 9 into I2 minus 9 into I1 is equal to minus 10. Here yeah. Minus 9 into I1 plus 8 plus 9 is equal to 17. 17 I2 is equal to minus 10. This is equation number 2. From equation number 1 and 2, we have the equation number 1 and equation number 2. From equation number 1 and 2, if we solve the equation 1 and 2 by using the calculator, we will get I1 is equal to minus 0 0.02 amperes. I2 is equal to minus 0 0.6 amperes. So these currents we will get if we use the calculator. Now the answer is current passing through the 8 ohm resistor. Which current is flowing through the 8 ohm resistor? Only I2 current is flowing. So what is the I2 current here? Minus 0 0.6 amperes. So like this we will find the current passing through the any specific resistor. In the exam, they will ask you any specific resistor, the current passing through the any specific resistor, not all the resistors. Okay. Now, uh, up to now, we have discussed there are two voltage sources so there. If there are two voltage sources, how we will find the currents and how we will write the mesh equations. That is by applying the KVL. Now, we will see if there is only one voltage source is there. Okay, here yeah, there is no voltage source here. There is only one voltage source is there. How we will write the equation? The question is, find the current passing through the 9 ohm resistor. Find the current passing through the, he is asking find the current passing through this particular resistor. How we will solve now? Here, yeah, I am taking loop 1 is clockwise direction and loop 2 also is in clockwise direction. As there are two closed loops in the given circuit, I am taking loop 1 is clockwise direction, loop 2 is also clockwise direction. Loop one, in loop 1, I1 current is flowing, in loop 2, I2 current is flowing. If we apply KVL in loop 1, we will get minus 2 plus 
plus 5 is equal to 7 into I1 plus here yeah, for 9 ohm resistor there are two currents I1 and I2 plus 9 into I1 minus I2 okay if we write the if we write the simplified equation we will get 7 into I1 my, uh, plus 9 into I1 is 16 into I1 minus 9 into I2 is equal to 5. This is equation number 1. Now, if we apply the mesh analysis, that is apply KVL in the loop 2, we will get, as there is no source, we will get 0 here. Okay, 0 is equal to 8 into I2 plus 9 into I2 minus I1 here. For 9 ohm resistor, there are two currents are flowing. So, if we simplify the above equation, we will get minus 9 into I1 plus 8 plus 9 is 17. 17 into I2 is equal to 0. This is equation number 2. From equation number 1 I2, if you use a calculator, we will get I1 is equal to 0 0.445 amperes and I2 is equal to 0 0.235 amperes. So, what is the question? Current passing through the 9 ohm resistor. Which current is flowing through the 9 ohm resistor? I1 minus I2 or I2 minus I1. So we can take both the cases. We will get the same answer here. What is I1 value? 0 0.445 minus 0 0.235 is equal to 0 0.21 we will get. If we take in the reverse direction, I2 minus I1, 0 0.235 minus 0 0.445. Okay, is equal to minus 0 0.21 amperes. I1 value is... 0 0.445 and I2 values is 0 0.235. Substitute these values in this equation. I1 minus I2 is equal to 0 0.445 minus 0 0.235 is equal to 0 0.21 amperes. So the answer is 0 0.21 amperes. Like this, we will get the current passing through the any specific resistor. This is a procedure to find out the current passing through the any specific resistor if they ask in the exam. So like this, we will find out. So, if anybody is not uh, uh, listen to the previous classes, please go through the previous classes and watch the uh, previous mesh analysis videos and do, uh, then you can get the idea of how to read the mesh analysis and why we will take the difference here and what is the exact procedure to read the mesh analysis equations. So, in the, in the next classes, we will discuss further about the mesh analysis. So that's it. Uh, that's it from the today's class.